Hey guys, here's the little 20mm EDF that I've been working on. As I described, I needed, let's get a poker, three little bits of tape there that I've super glued on after slightly burnishing the surface because this is quite slippery, this plastic. And then I had to drill a couple of holes on the other side to balance it out. The reason I put the tape on there, usually I just drill out, but that was a lot of tape and I knew that I would have to drill a lot of holes in there. And I thought, oh, I'd rather glue it on there instead of take all that material away from the hub. So I did a 50-50, couple of holes, couple of bits of tape. Now, as I described before, when I run this up, it tends to vibrate a heck of a lot of it, half throttle. And it's not the actual fan unit doing that it's this little tiny motor. This one does it as well. So I had this one in there and it was making that noise without the fan on it, so or the impeller, so I took it out, ran up another one, and it was doing the same thing. And that's because these things don't have bearings, they just you know just had a little um, brass bushing um, holding the whole thing together. Alright, so let's run it up. Now the thing to look for, knowing that this thing is singing along really really nicely is right in the middle there is a hole for the shaft now they don't come like this I actually drilled that out um, because of the way I have to set things up so there is a drill hole there and that gives me a, when I use my little magnifier woo, this is going to be hard to do lights and everything in the way but when I use my magnifier on that hole I can um, see whether it's vibrating or not. It goes blurry. Um, so not only can you hear it or feel it when you're holding the can, you can also see if the hub's oscillating. And you just keep on going backwards and forwards with the weights and the locations until you get rid of that. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but now that's that noise there is the can and then we get to the vibration noise there it is there sounds horrible doesn't it but then we keep going I'm not full throttle because I don't want to overheat the motor because when you're static it's a lot more load and you throw it in the air it unloads because it has to have to fight that air flow but the thing to look at, look how still that is. I just really hope the camera picks that up. And you can hear it, it sounds great. And I, I can feel it. There's just no vibration. I'm loving it. This is really going to zoom. And the gap that I've got in between the fan and the case, each impeller blade, I don't even know if you could pick that up. Let's see. I'm going to try and rotate it until you can just see some air in there. Ooh, I think you can see it. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to put on some magnifying glasses so that I can really see what I'm looking at. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Look how close that is in there. It is unbelievably close. I can just get a piece of paper. There's another one. Yep. Lovely. And a third one. Can we do it? Yeah, maybe that's it but that is the closest I've ever gotten a blade to the case so we are really making this as efficient as possible by having that as close to the case as I, I could get without it rubbing there was a tiny bit of a rub so I did have to get a tiny bit of a little demonstration coming on as always the wind could have blown it away yeah I think the wind blew it away I had a oh no here it is. Had a tiny. Is that it? Had a tiny bit of emery paper. And so what I did is that I squeezed the case to to bend it out, so I could get the paper in there. Whoa! This isn't it. It's too big. It's even smaller than that. Yeah. So great job. I'm really impressed with this. Can't wait to throw it in the uh, huckabine and get that sucker airborne. All right. Thanks for watching.